for the past 38 years. It is home to over 5 million Muslims. But today, we are afraid in our own home. We are afraid to be registered. We are afraid that we will be asked to go back home. Which home? This is home. We are afraid to talk in our mother tongue at the airport because we don't want to be kicked out of the plane. We are afraid to go to the park with our family and friends because somebody might report suspicious activity at the park. We are afraid to let our sons and daughters to participate in protests because we don't want their name in the FBI database. Is this home? Is this how you live in your home? Being afraid, being scared? No, this is not home. I want to be safe in my home. I don't want to be afraid in my home. At an event, this guy came and told the organizers that he will have no trouble slashing my throat if I offended him. Yes. Oh. I could not believe that in all these years that I have been living here in America, never have I heard such an alarming statement from a fellow American. This is very alarming. Islam is a religion of peace. Muslims are against ISIS because ISIS is dividing us. They are disenfranchising us. They want all of you to hate us. We want you to love us because we are all in this together. As Muslim, we believe that if we save one innocent life, it is like we have saved the whole of humanity. And if we have killed one innocent person, it is like we have killed the whole of humanity. There are several factors why people are drawn to violence and extremism. It could be their violent thoughts, it could be lack of education, lack of resources, or political actions. Would you allow KKK to speak for all Christians? Well, then we should not allow ISIS to speak for all Muslims. Some people think that Muslim woman is oppressed. I'm wearing a hijab, I'm oppressed. Do I look oppressed to you guys? That is wrong. That is not true at all. I'm wearing this hijab because it's my choice. I have two adult daughters who don't, and that is fine. That's their choice. There is no compulsion in Islam. Woman was given the right to vote, to inheritance, to property in Islam 1400 years ago. to be compassionate towards all, to love our children, to love our neighbors, to take care of the elderly, to know our neighbors, to visit the sick. It's just the same core values that all of us have together. So what can you do to help? Well, it's, it's not easy, but it's not difficult either. Get to know your neighbors. Smile at people while you are standing in line. Strike a conversation. Stand and resist registry. That's the We don't want to walk with tattoos on our arm, with numbers tattooed on our arm. We want to be free like everybody else. We don't want to be registered. 
We are law-abiding citizens of this country and have been here for so many years. People, look around each other. Look around you. Nobody is the same. We all look different. But that doesn't mean that we are different inside. If I take off my high scarf, I'm looking just like you guys are. So hold your hands. Please hold your hands. And make a pledge. And say that we are in it together. We are going to fight this fight together. We are going to look. We are not going to look at somebody who doesn't look like us as other. We are all the same. We are children. We are children of the same God. And we are going to fight this fight together no matter what. Thank you. Melissa Porter, and I apologize in advance if I said your name wrong. 